What's up, guys? With Apple's high-performance M1 chip appearing in the fanless MacBook Air and iPad Pro, does that mean it could power the upcoming iPhone 13? Apple upgrades the system on a chip, or SOC, that powers the new iPhone every year, and it has always been a processor from the A-Series. Given that the iPhone 12 featured an A14 chip, it would normally be safe to assume that an A15 would be used in the upcoming iPhone 13, which will be released at the end of 2021. However, Apple has been switching up its processor choices lately, and some may wonder whether Apple might use its M1 chip in an iPhone. Apple announced the transition of its Mac computers to Apple Silicon at its Worldwide Developers Conference, or WWDC, in 2020. By the end of the year, two MacBook laptops and the Mac Mini kept that promise featuring Apple's M1 chip rather than an Intel CPU. A Apple shocked the market with the incredible performance of this design, greatly surpassing the previous generation of Mac computers that used Intel chips. Despite upgrading the new Mac computers and new iPad Pro to the M1 SoC, it seems unlikely that Apple will place the super-fast chip in the iPhone 13. The reason is that the thermal design limits of an iPhone would limit the M1 in ways that were not intended. The MacBook Air and iPad Pro in which the M1 has been included don't contain fans, showing that the chip runs very cool due to its incredible power efficiency. However, the M1 is limited by these thin and fanless designs. Apple also placed the M1 in the Mac Mini, MacBook Pro, and iMac, but with cooling fans. The only reason for that would be if the processor can benefit from additional cooling. The Mac computers with fans will be able to sustain higher performance for longer than those that lack fans, even though the fanless systems are still very fast, beating the previous generation of Intel chips. You see, there are three ways that a phone releases internal heat, all relating to size. There's a significant difference between an iPad Pro and an iPhone, which lacks enough space for convection, has less mass for conduction, and a smaller surface area limiting radiation. That means that the M1 chip, which was designed for Mac computers with fans and manages to perform well in the MacBook Air and iPad Pro, is not optimized for the much smaller size and relatively tiny thermal units of an iPhone. It would make much greater sense for Apple to design an A15 chip for the iPhone 13 that would be optimized for the smaller devices while still offering performance that surpasses the already incredible A14 and may approach the speed of the M1 for single-core tasks. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below, and if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe to the channel for daily tech videos. And again, as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.